What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Uh, we're about an hour away from our, our live stream. I'm still actually just getting... Look, chair's not even fitting right. Getting back into the groove here at Joe Boo Studio. We've got our live stream Zoom call for channel members at five o'clock if you are a channel member the link is up in the community tab for you to join us join in we're going to be talking about have the dallas cowboys done enough to catch the philadelphia eagles are there more moves that the cowboys should make or do we have enough to make a deep run into the playoffs now here's the thing that i love i i love this because you know um you would think that every year is in a vacuum that there's not actually data to back up things, okay, that you can go back and look and say, here's the traditional trends of things that happen. And it seems like the talking heads all forget about things that have happened in the past and don't remember to put that into the equation when dealing with the present. So right now we have Eagle fans, and I love triggering Eagle. I, I, let, let me be honest with you. It's a guilty pleasure of mine enjoying to trigger eagle fans you know and, and quite frankly most of them get it most of them understand that you know it, it's just we're having fun with each other because honestly if i don't take time to to kind of bitch slap you then i don't care about you and, I, and, and I, I won't waste my time on something that i don't deem worthwhile so you eagle fans and the rival we have to me is worthwhile so i enjoy when i can get under the skin and piss them off. You know, when a guy literally wants to, you know, say, I'll give somebody $100 if they punch Mark Holmes in the face. Okay, come on. All right. You know, they'll line up for that if you're actually going to give them some money. But I'm betting that he's a broke ass and not going to do anything like that. So, Eagle fans are going crazy because right now they are this year's darling, you know, having lost the Super Bowl, um, having had a great season, you know, and seeming to have done a lot of things this offseason like they did last year to stay relevant and try to buck the trend of Super Bowl losing teams kind of dropping down to earth. Now, it doesn't happen all the time. There has been eight teams that have lost the Super Bowl that have returned to the Super Bowl the next year, the last being, I think, the 2018 New England Patriots did. Um, before that, it was the Buffalo Bills. So it's not that it happens a lot. And when you think about 57 Super Bowls, you're only talking about 16% roughly of teams that have lost the Super Bowl that have gone back the next year. But be that as it may, the Eagles are getting their definite respect you know, everybody is talking about that. Oh man, they're Super Bowl favorite. They're the number one team. Jalen Hurts is the best quarterback in the NFC. Uh, their their drafting this year was better than everybody else's. But I want to kind of go through because there's kind of some history trend that happens. Because I want to go back and look. Let, let's just look back at last year for a minute, okay? Let's look back at last year. Oops, wrong one. Sorry. Hey, Joe Boo, what's up? Okay. Sorry, hit the wrong button here. But let's look at last year, this time. Post-draft ratings. Last year, the Buffalo Bills were the number one team. Now, here's where I find it funny because people will talk about, well, Dak Prescott, you know, you know, he's regress Scott. He sucks. The Cowboys, you know, they didn't do anything. Well, here's the thing. If you say that about the Cowboys, then... What does that mean about the Buffalo Bills, who most people had as the Super Bowl favorites, as the number one team going the season? We weren't the number one team. We weren't looked at. We were looked like as ass-ass, having done what we did in the offseason. But be that as it may, I'm just kind of going through here and kind of pointing out how things work as far as power ratings, okay? Okay. Buffalo lost the same weekend we did in the playoffs. They were thought to be the best team in football, and they didn't make it to the Super Bowl. Number two, Tampa Bay. Now, Tampa Bay, now, now keep in mind, now both teams were playoff teams. Tampa Bay squeaked in, squeaked in, lost to the Cowboys. But they were the number two rated team going into there. Hmm. Okay. 
Number three, the Rams. Ooh, talk about crashing and burning. The Rams were one of the worst teams last year, yet they were ranked number three. Number four, the Kansas City Chiefs. The Super Bowl, you know, went winner last year. Best team in football by the time the year ended. So at least they were in the top five, okay? The Cincinnati Bengals, again, playoff team. Not far off, not far off at all, right? The Green Bay Packers, who ended the season as the number one seed, losing the first round of the first playoff game they played. They had them ranked six. Mind you, all they had to do was beat the Detroit Lions to get in. Detroit Lions having nothing to play for, and they lost. Okay. San Francisco 49ers, well, they were definitely a top 10 team, probably a top 5 team. They kicked our ass in the playoffs and um, should have beat the Eagles, but be that as it may. So that one's not too far off. The Chargers, yeah, okay. The Ravens, hmm. They made the playoffs. I guess that's about right. Cowboys, 10th. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I think maybe we might have been a little bit better than 10th, but okay. But here, here's the thing that's funny. Huh. Where's the Eagles? Tennessee Titans, the team that ended up with a seven-game lose streak going down the stretch. Wow. Denver Broncos. Let's ride. Let's ride. Yeah, was not anywhere near the top 12. The Raiders. Hmm. Derek Carr got lots of love and went to, of course, uh, New Orleans. But that team, which was a playoff team the year before, 13. Indianapolis Colts. Oh, wow. Their coach got fired during the season and brought in Jeff Saturday. Were they the 14th best team in football? Don't think so. And then here we have, last year, this time, the Philadelphia Eagles at 15. So my point on this is, is it's great to talk about. It's kind of like the mock drafts. People get mad at me because I don't do mock drafts. And I'm kind of like, yo, bro, <sighs> they have no bearing as to what you're actually going to do. There's too many variables, and I got shit to do. Like Tom Brady says, I got shit to do. I, I don't have enough time to do 50 mock drafts to say, yeah, I was close. So, Eagle fans, feel good about yourselves, okay? Slow your roll just a little bit. Slow your roll. Slow your roll. And be cool. All right? Because... What it looks like now versus the way it'll be come January and February are two totally different things. All right, good people. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.